tipo. And Dragon, we've got you. Expect automated parachute deployment, and we have you on visual. Automated shoots. Wonderful to hear from the crew on the other side of the blackout period, the WB-57 high altitude aircraft providing that thermal imaging. We saw the tail of the entry of the vehicle itself. Absolutely Dragon, beautiful. GPS converge, expect nominal altitude for drugs. Copy GPS, nominal altitude. So again, nominal altitude for drogue deployment. That happens at about 18,000 feet. Uh, again, good news after good news, Gary. Uh, things are looking great for crew to return. I am loving this flight. That uh, that altitude expected one minute from now. Right as anticipated, Andy. Dragon, brace for drug window. The thermal imaging system on board the WB-57 is getting us great views of the capsule, but should give us equally good views of the drogue deployment expected seconds from now. Capsule is traveling about 350 miles an hour, and the drogue shoot's job is to slow it down to about 120. Drogues deployed. Confirmation. That'll slow us down from 350 miles an hour to 120 miles an hour. Dragon, visual on two healthy drogues, descent rate nominal. Copy, great news. So in about 30 seconds, the main chutes are gonna come out. There are four of them, and they deploy at about 6,500 feet. Oh, Gary, look at this. This is an excellent view of the drogue uh, parachutes. There it is. Drogue separation, main chute deploy. We'll wait for confirmation of four healthy mains. You really can't ask for anything better. We got confirmation of, uh, you heard on the loops there, four healthy mains. Descent rate is nominal. That means we are expecting splashdown three minutes from now. Visually, you can see one of the mains uh, taking a slightly longer to inflate. Meters. But the teams are, uh, are tracking that as a nominal inflation rate, uh, and the descent rate is as expected. We do have four healthy mains, and we are expe expecting an on-time splashdown. Six hundred meters. We copy six. So 600 meters. This is a better shot of those four healthy main parachutes attached to the Dragon spacecraft Endeavor as it continues to descend. 
400 meters. The rate is as expected, 400 meters from splashdown. Three hundred meters. Two hundred meters brace. We copy two hundred embracing. Standing by for confirmation of splashdown. Half of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. Hey, Chris, it's great to be back to planet Earth. Thanks to SAE and Jackson teams. Uh, it was an honor to represent you and work with all to our family. Look forward to seeing you soon. Splashdown confirmed at 7.33 p.m. Pacific, 10.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Four astronauts of Crew 2, Shane Kimbrough, Megan MacArthur, Aki Hoshide, and Thomas Pesquet now safely returned to Earth. Confirmation that the main parachutes have been cut, and you can see from the thermal imaging camera that the fast boats are already on their way to meet up with Crew Dragon Endeavor. Now splashing down off the coast of Florida for the second Space time. Two, three, we think we're... Hey Shane, you're coming in broken, but we see stable one. Copy, great news. Stable one is the configuration that we were hoping for. Stable one means it's in the ocean upright and as expected. So the teams have been uh, ready and waiting about three nautical miles away. SpaceX Endeavor, we're going to raise our... And Dragon, please repeat. Yeah, we're going to raise our visors if you guys are good that. Hey, go for visor raise. So it looks like the astronauts inside are going to be lifting those visors. Uh, the recovery team has been uh, waiting about three nautical miles away. So it is going to take them a little bit of time to make their way to Shane, Megan, Aki, and Toma inside of Dragon. Uh, quick rundown of what is to come. Um, so about a minute and a half after a splashdown, uh, Mission Control here in Hawthorne will give the go for safe approach. About two minutes away, uh, two minutes from uh, splashdown, the approach boat begins its inspection. Uh, we are expecting that um, ordnance and hypergol check to complete around the L plus 12 minute mark, mm -hmm. around the L plus 30 minute mark. Dragon, SpaceX, come check. Endeavor has you loud and clear, SpaceX. We have you loud and clear as well. We stopped the boat. We have you much better now. So some good comms checks uh, on screen right now. That is the Dragon capsule in the background, uh, upright and stable in the Gulf of uh, Mexico and uh, there's a boat that is heading towards it. So um, 
at about L plus 30 minutes, uh, the dragon rigging uh, will be is expected to complete. Again, rigging is where um, a, a, an employee as part of the recovery team will physically climb on top of dragon and attach hardware necessary to hoist dragon up and out of the water. Recovery ships um, also arrive at this time um, at L plus 38 minutes. Uh, that's when we're expecting to lift Dragon out of the water. Uh, L plus 40 minutes, Dragon will be on deck of the recovery vessel. And then at L plus 48 minutes, we are expecting Dragon hatch to open and the crew to egress after about six months uh, in space. That is the goal, to do this in under an hour, and it seems like the, the crew is right where they're supposed to be, right on time. We're getting thermal images of uh, the uh, fast boats out near the Crew Dragon Endeavor in the uh, wonderfully smooth waters of the Gulf of Mexico as predicted, which is fantastic. Um, you can see there's two boats that are out towards the recovery vessel once we uh, get a, a smoother lock on the vehicle itself. One of them collecting the parachutes, uh, the other uh, doing some of the rigging that you were talking about, Andy, which is uh, super critical to the next series of steps. Um, Dragon, SpaceX is go for recovery personnel to approach. Expect personnel alongside momentarily. Okay, copy that, we're ready. 